this chatbot just told a human he isn't that smart and honestly i don't know how i feel about that trust me you want to watch to the end of this video In the previous video, we discussed the fundamentals of artificial intelligence and how it impacts our daily life. Now let's discuss an important question that many people have but are reluctant to bring up. By the way, shout out to all your comments in the previous video. I'm able to learn and think about questions that people really have. Can machines think is a question posed by Alan Turing that in my opinion continues to drive the advancement of AI today. You must be wondering as to why I keep bringing up this individual. Actually, his test idea is essential in determining whether a robot is capable of reasoning like a human. And it is very simple. You have three participants in the test. A human at one end asking a series of questions while being unable to see his participants. On the other end, you have another human and a training machine. The individual will ask questions about the particular topic while keeping to a specified format and context and determine which respondent was a human and which was the machine after a series of questions. If the examiner cannot distinctively identify the human from the machine, the machine is said to have passed the intelligence test. Brief redirection. We are all aware that various layers of artificial intelligence are used by the applications we use today, such as Google Maps, Siri, weather applications, to provide us with the best results. We established previously that these intelligent agents or machines are taught by human experts. Now that you know how they were trained, you may be curious with the how. There are three components to effectively train any machine. Number one, the inputs. Say for example, you want to create a website where users can upload photos of their dog. To prevent anyone from attempting to post a picture of a cat, you will require an agent capable of identifying an alternate image. I think I use dogs and cats as examples far too frequently. Anyway, this implies that in order for the machine to accurately identify and categorize your images, it would have had to learn through several images of dogs. The second component is the expected output, which in the case of our example is ensuring that the users can only upload photos of a dog. The last is the learning algorithm. This is the set of instructions that are used to train the machine to carry out a specific task. It was important to explain this a bit to give you an understanding of how these machines are created and trained. An example is a chatbot. This is a machine designed to simulate conversations with human users. Following the explanation, you should now know they have been fed with literally thousands or millions of text data comprising of questions and responses. I'll go into that in more detail in another video. Josh Pickford trained the bot to give responses to financial questions. However, this bot frequently provides ridiculous responses and shouldn't be taken seriously. I'll say it again, do not take it seriously or listen to its financial advice. I guess this was just for an experiment. You can also try it out yourself. The link is given at the description. In the next video, I'll be showing you a bot that I think has capabilities to exploit. This chat bot actually gives accurate responses, can generate stories, blog posts, business ideas, and can even assist you in doing your assignments. I have to say, I was impressed trying out this bot. You want to put on your notification for that one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you soon.